Hello ladies and gentlemen and boys and girls, this is Shin and you're watching Coffee Shin TV. So this is the second video of D1 XL. This one right here is D1 XL conversion kit white version. Well, I'm gonna see what's included in white kit and then convert this pinky, my D1 probe, to the D1 XL white. All right, and let's unbox it. Here is the white main cover. The Pro Sim one, but white rubber insulator is on here. And this group head handle, natural wood. And this one here is natural wood power filter. Very nice. Kind of like bright colored wood. Great, I like it. And this one here is the white group head cover. This one here is the white angled plug. And also include this tube, <coughs> drain tube for the Bluetooth. And white leg base. Oh, there is white back panel as well. <coughs> and this one is the white tablet stand. And also tools and this built-in bracket. So this time I'm gonna use this one. So I've already made a video how to convert the D1 Pro to D1 XL. So you can check the video on here. It's just the last video. So I'm just gonna skip the part. Just like this. Not gonna happen actually. I have to do it manually. Excel white. The group head cover. There are three screws on the top, so you need to unscrew them. My pink group head cover is out now, but I need this insulator. Don't forget to take this insulator out because it's gonna come along with the group head cover. You should keep it. And <coughs> main cover out. Pink, pink, pink. And also I'll take out this group head handle and the leg base. There we go. Put the pink screws back in. Oh. Flip it back. There we go. And then, there we go. Put the insulator back in. And then put it back. So there is the 18 screws in there for group head and then main cover. So use the Torx driver. In this case, you should be careful because the white paint can be come off when you kind of like scratch with the screwdriver. This white is sort of like milky white. It looks really similar to the milk that I drink. And then steam wand. Uh, put the wand in and shake it. Great. Excel white. Before putting the main cover in, then let's make the standoff. There you go. And then put the standoff in here. It's much easier without the main cover. So get everything done and then put the main cover at the last. And then put the lever back in. There you go. And now, finally, I'm gonna put the main cover on. Put the cover in. Tablet stand. There you go. The last thing is here. Take the plastic off. And this is the white back cover. Put this cover back on here. There you go. Nice and clean. Super white. Looks very nice. And actually, who doesn't love White. That sounds so racist. Excel white. There you go. Very nice. And then lastly, the natural wooden handle per filter. Here we go. Let's see for converting the D1 Pro pink version into the one XL white version with the natural wooden handles. So from now on, I'm gonna build this in. So I'm gonna cut this table. Uh, this very table, make a hole for the uh, bracket and then put the bracket in and then assemble everything and put this machine into the bracket. All right, let's do this. It's quite heavy. It's heavier, is stronger. So how I'm gonna do is measure the size of this bracket and then draw it with this permanent marker and just dig it. Too easy, right? So let's do this. So measure the size. From here to here is and this one here is 23.9 centimeters. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a little bit bigger hole than the real length 41.5 and on this side I'm gonna dig 24 
I have like more space on here. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna put this grinder on here and then I should be able to put this one on here. And I want it to be kind of perfectly matched. I can put this one like this. Okay. Excel, what? So yes, I set everything up like this. White part, working area, and then black part. So I have to measure the size to make the machine in the middle of this table. So there is gonna be gap on here and on here. And the lengths are gonna be 9.25 centimeters. So I'll dot on the table. There you go. 9.25. And I'm gonna measure it. 24 centimeters from the dot so something like here it's dot to dot draw a line it's okay uh, 41.5 there something like this and also draw a line here as well not bad right and then sewing that out with the sew so let's do this. Follow the line. So now on this side. Okay, and do it more on here. Last one. And I try to take this piece out. I see, I see. There we go. There is the cardboard thing. That's it! <laughs> yes! Uh, let's see if the bracket is fit in there. Uh, this one is gonna be front, the drain hole, and this is gonna be the back. Oh, there you go. It's really tight, Lippy. Whew, great! But now, I'm gonna put the machine in the bracket. So here's the machine, and I can put this one like this. It just perfectly fit. Amazing. And then what I'm gonna do now is, I need this one here. This is for the drain drip tray. So this drip tray is plumbable. So I'm gonna put this one in here. There we go. It fits right in like this. And I also need this cable tie. So there was a cable tie in the small bag with the standoff, but it just fits. So I don't actually really use the cable tie, so I'll just leave it on here. And next one I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect the drain tube on the bracket. This one here is the drain tube, and this one here is the bracket. And so here is the screw. So if you unscrew this, this one gonna untight. I'll show you. Yeah, something like this. So if you screw it, it's gonna be tightened. So what I'm gonna do with this one is, let's go downside. If you see on here, here is a hole like this. So before putting this in, so hold it like this and then so tight it a bit. There you go, it's quite tightened, right? And now put the tube in here like this. All right. And then tie it with this one. So there is not gonna be any leakage. Put the water tank in. That's easy. This water tank here. Limit. And then water tank in. Lever up. Water tank totally in. The machine should be pushed all the way back. And now, so if you see in here, here is the whole white, and there is tube inside. So fit this tube 
in this hole. Like this. And if you see here, it's in and put a drip tray cover on the top. There you go. Exhale, white. And then the wires and the tubes on the back. So I take this back panel out. Here is the hole on the back of the rocket. So then I'll show you how I do that. So here is the power cable. I'll put this one in here like this. And I connect this on here like so. There you go. So what's next is this one. And this is the filtering kit cable. And you can also use this one for plumbing kit as well. So this one goes in here. I put this one in here. And here is the cable coming up. So here we go. This one goes in here. And then this tube as well. This one connects it to the catering kit or plumbing kit as well. So it's the same from here. Again, come on from here. There you go. And then this one goes in here. And then like this. And organize it. Yes. The tubes and wires are in as well, like so. And then finally I put this back panel on it. Great. And there is just one more thing left. So the last thing I'm gonna do is hanging this catering kit or plumbing kit right under the table. And you can see there is the hanger. So if you put two pieces like this, then you can hang this under the table, on the table, or behind the table, anywhere you want. As long as you can put the piece in. As you can see, here is the bracket. But on this way is for putting the catering kit like so. So it's kind of fitting there. But in this case, you have to take the bracket out and then put it upside down. Let's do this. Now, it's just no more truth, so you can just reel it in. And you have to consider the length of these two holes. Put this two on here. I can and drill the pieces all the way in. Yes! And now I can connect this water tube in here and this power cable for the catering kit in here. And then this water tube goes in here like this. Oh. Okay, that's pretty much it. It's all done, but I haven't got my tablet, white tablet yet though. There are gonna be white tablet as well. You're gonna get that soon, I guess. That's it guys, thank you for watching, it's been Shin, see you in the next video, peace out!